State of Decay 2 has improved on the original in every aspect. It has more maps, more looting, more base building, more zombies, and sadly, more bugs. Stare of Decay is a different type of zombie game. The whole point of the game is to build and maintain a community during the aftermath of a zombie outbreak. If a newcomer comes into the game thinking it's more of a traditional zombie game, they might be disappointed. I've been getting better at judging games as they are and not what I expect them to be. I only expected Undead Labs to improve on the original and that they did. Veterans from the first game will feel right at home. You'll find yourself managing inventories and it gets pretty sketchy quick if you don't know what you're doing. As you add more people, your relationships and your community goals become more complicated. And updating your facilities also brings on new challenges. It's best to take it slow and learn how to say no to those you meet along the way. Mastering the basics of base building and community well-being will benefit you greatly when you're ready to expand. Your community members can be outright annoying at times. They will get depressed, angry at pretty much everything. It can be a little much at times, but they're only really guiding you on what you should be doing next. Look at them as a tutorial. Remember, if they get too annoying, you can always euthanize them. Dying in the game is no joke. Members of your community gain XP and improve not only in the standing of your community, but also in your ability to survive. You upgrade your stamina, your shooting, your wits, and other abilities based on what you have your character do during playtime. Not only do you put all this XP into these characters, you put in a lot of time building them up. So if they happen to die due to trauma, illness, or any other reason, then that's the last of them. All that work put into them, gone. Every time you leave the comfort of your command center, it just might be your last. But you have to do it. There are people who depend on you. Instead of the K features different zombie types, you have your regular slow walkers that are mostly just wandering around. You have infected zombies that can get you sick. You have feral zombies, bloaters, screamers, and juggernauts. A few zombies at a time are not a threat, but where there's one zombie, you're bound to find more. They're like cockroaches. Throw in a special zombie into the mix and things can get intense. At first you think you'll be okay, but you can soon find yourself over your head. I gotta stop. Are you trying to kill me? Veterans of the original know that it's best to ignore the zombies when you're on a mission or when looting for supplies. They only complicate things. It's best to sneak around them when possible. However, you can't ignore infested houses and houses that have play cards in them for too long. Not only will it affect the morale of your community, it would also increase the amount of zombies around your base and throughout the map. Dead of Decay has improved on the first one in every way. But the problem that I have is that you can tell this game was rushed outside the door. State of Decay is buggy from the beginning. You get stuck in rocks and walls, vehicles will clip, and your companion just might disappear. Not having access to your companion during a quest can be frustrating to say the least. There are workarounds like switching to your companion through the main menus and then hoping it fixes itself, but bugs like these, they're unacceptable. Even with the bugs, which I'm sure will be squashed eventually, there's definitely a good game here. If you come into State of Decay 2 knowing that essentially it's a community management game set after a zombie outbreak, then this game will definitely meet your expectations. But in the back of your brain, you'll still have that sour feeling that State of Decay was released before it was really ready. Either that, or it's a zombie gnawing at your brain.